Oh, hi, you. Thank you for showing up for your learning. Today, we're looking at how to simplify rationals that involve trinomials like this. First step is to make sure that you have some paper and uh, something to write with. So I've got some digital paper here, so that you can see what I'm up to, and something to write with. And then the next step is to take it and copy it carefully onto said paper. So I'm going to do that. Uh, plus 48. Delightful. All divided by x squared minus 9x plus 8. Okay, so this is a function divided by another function to create a third function. All right, and uh, we want to simplify it as much as possible. So <clears throat> let's factor the top. And I'm going to play an x game here. Multiplies to 48, adds to negative 14. Okay, so this will be two negative numbers. Uh, 12 times 2, I won't do it. Uh, what about 10 times 4? I won't do it. Uh, maybe 8 times 6. Aha! Negative 8 times negative 6. Okay, so that factors into x minus 6 multiplied by x minus 8. You can check that this top is equivalent to that top uh, by FOIL method. And then the bottom one will factor into x minus 8 times x minus 1. Okay, and so it's just factoring that one, again, just by trinomial factoring. Our trinomial factoring wants to be strong by this point so that we can do these quickly. And then notice that we have an x minus 8 there in both places. This one, these problem types just ask us to simplify the problem completely and not state restrictions. But if this was on a test, you want to tell me that eight is x is not equal to 8 and x is not equal to 1 either, okay? Because that would create a 0 on the bottom of this fraction. All right, let's uh, erase my junk, okay? And then that there, that's a little junk, okay? And then uh, you want to also, this is the fun part, cancel this factor, cancel that factor. So this is equal to x minus 6 over x minus 1. So you'd write this as x minus 6, put in your brackets, divide by x minus 1, put in your brackets. Enter, enter, hooray, let's do another. Let's do another, or let's be a real short video. Okay, here we go. So x, plus, x squared plus 3x minus 54, that's uh, positive 9 times minus 6. So this one is equal to x plus 9 times x minus 6. How do you do that so fast, Mr. Jennings? Uh, we'll practice. So you've got to practice too. The bottom one factors into x plus 1 times x minus 6. Okay, there's two x games to play here. Multiply to negative 54 and add to 3 will be for the top one up there. Okay, and those numbers are 9 and negative 6. Okay, and then the bottom one is multiply to negative 6 and add to negative 5, and those numbers are negative 6 and 1. Okay, and so those, that's what goes in the brackets with the x's, and then I see x minus 6 cancels, so this is x plus 9, and the bracket divided by x plus 1. Hooray! So that's how these are done. Uh, it gives you a chance to review your trinomial factoring and also cancel out common binomial factors. They're not asking you to state restrictions on x, which I wish they were because that's an important part of this unit. Okay, any questions, ask me by email. Otherwise, thank you very much for showing up for your learning.